things gearing up, and the difference from last year to this year. Uh, tell us what's going on with preparation, how you get prepared for the season. Yeah, I mean, the main thing for me, I think, between this year and last year is that I don't have any older guys in front of me. It's just me and Julius right now. So it's more about us leading the group rather than um, having three or four other leaders uh, who are older and have been through it. So right now it's pretty much me telling the younger kids what to do and uh, leading by example, just trying to figure out how, let them know how it goes because college football is super taxing to your body and you got to get in the training room and you got to do this stuff on the field too. Um, so it really just goes to being a, a lead, more of a leader now than it was last year and just pushing them to uh, to their level. How was the uh, secondary room looking as a whole? You know, just like as a complete unit from last year to this year. Yeah. How was everybody meshing in becoming a cohesive unit? Yeah, um, I would say mainly me and Julius being together is probably the best I've ever felt about my second, like me and him being in the secondary together. Just because we like we we know each other so well now that we don't even need to talk to each other. We just give each other a signal and we know what plays going to go. Um, so that's good. I think our, our corners are starting to come together th through camp. They progressively got better uh, day by day. Um, and for the scrimmage today, I think that they really uh, held it down. Uh, our backups and the people that will be rotating in this year also, uh, Omar Rogers, David King, uh, Dontavious Nash. There's just a lot of people that are ready to step into that role um, and ready to put the team on their back. So I'm, ve I'm very confident in this effort this year. Thank you. Tegan, there seems to be a, uh, one of the things, not only the experience, but there seems to be the word that's maybe overused in football, but a physicality with you guys uh, there in the backfield. Yeah, uh, I think we take pride in being physical, um, but you also have to cover people too. So you can't really overlook the physicality part, but physicality could be anything. You could you could still be physical in the way you talk too. It's just intensity. That's really what it is. It's not really physicality, it's more intensity. And I think. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I think even our corners have that intensity to them. Um, and they really solidify the spot on, like, we're not, we don't just cover people too, we will hit you. Um, and you just don't want to cross the middle on us. No doubt. What about, as far as I know, the uh, I'm hearing good things about the whole defense, defensive line, linebackers, everybody is uh, looking good this year on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, I'm really confident in our defense. It, I, it's just a huge unit right now that have grown up together. Uh, I feel like everybody has been sp spent four years other than Julius. He spent, I think this is his second or third year. Um, it's his third year. So we, we have all collectively grinded on that field right there together. Um, know each other's weaknesses, know each other's strengths. And it, it shows day by day uh, how progressively better it gets. Well, good luck to you this season. I know it's going to be an exciting one for 2023. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Tegan.